Sincere condolences are extended to the royal family during this difficult time as they mourn the loss of their mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. Over the course of her seven decades, Her Majesty has inspired countless people. She will always be recognized for her bravery and strength. God's sweetest peace be with you Queen Elizabeth II. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Facts for Folks channel. How are you guys today? Hope you're doing well and safe. The passing of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8 at the age of 96 marks a significant turning point for the English people and the British monarchy. Sure, there have been other royal deaths, but the Queen reigned for more than 70 years and stood for a certain stability and decency that kept the institution of the royal family together even as it gradually became more and more obvious that it was out of date and battered by unending scandals. Her demise has undoubtedly sparked a variety of attempts to place her reign in the appropriate historical context. Imagine her as the Will Chamberlain of Monarchs, she broke records and changed paradigms that had never been touched and probably never would again. Number 1. Queen Elizabeth II reigned for 70 years and 214 days, making her the second longest reigning queen in history and the longest reigning British monarch. Only four monarchs have ever ruled for seven or more decades. Number 2, the first significant royal occasion to be entirely televised on television was the Queen's coronation on June 2, 1953, viewed by 20 million television viewers. On September 8, 2022, in Scotland's Balmoral Castle, she peacefully ended her reign. Number 3, 15 British Prime Ministers served throughout her reign, with Liz Truss taking office just two days before the Queen passed away. Number 4, Queen Elizabeth II celebrated two birthdays. Her official birthday was celebrated on a Saturday in June, when the weather is nicer, and her real birthday was on April 21. Number 5. Over the course of her life, Her Majesty has sat for a remarkable 200 official photographs. She was just seven years old when the first one was ever taken in 1933 by Anglo-Hungarian artist Philip Alexius de Laszlo. Number 6. The Queen has visited more than 100 nations during her reign, which is impressive. More than any other European country, she has visited France 13 times and Canada 22 times. Number 7. While the Queen could afford the most opulent and pricey cosmetics, she chose something considerably less expensive for her nails. Essie's Ballet Slippers Nail Polish, which costs £8, has reportedly been the Queen's go-to polish for the past 33 years. The monarch's hairdresser requested a bottle of Ballet Slippers Polish from Essie in 1989 stating that it was the only color Her Majesty would wear. Number 8. Using ration coupons from World War II, the Queen purchased her wedding gown. British Heritage claims that the Queen had to return donations from ladies all over the UK in order to pay for the material for her wedding gown with ration coupons. Number 9. She didn't require a driver's license or a passport, and neither did she have either. The Queen does not require a passport or a driver's license because they are both issued in her name. She completed her driving and mechanic training at the age of 18 for the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service during World War II. Since that time, the Queen has never had to pass a real driving exam and was also qualified to drive without a license plate. She was also a really confident driver before she passed away. She once hopped inside a Land Rover and showed Prince Abdullah of Saudi Arabia around one of her country estates. Number 10. Queens are exempt from paying taxes. But Elizabeth still did. The royal family's website states that although the sovereign is exempt from paying income or capital gains taxes, Elizabeth had been doing so voluntarily since 1993. Number 11, Queen Elizabeth II owned all of the swans on the Thames River. According to a 15th century agreement, the late monarch possessed, or at least shared ownership of, every unclaimed mute swan on open water in England and Wales. But only a little portion of the River Thames and its tributaries were used by Queen Elizabeth to exert her ownership. The Worshipful Company of Vintners and the Worshipful Company of Dyers jointly owned the birds. King Charles III, her son, will now inherit this. Number 12, in Wales and England, all dolphins belong to her. The Queen was the owner of many of the country's aquatic animals in addition to swans. A law dated 1324, under the reign of King Edward II, states, The king shall have wreck of the sea throughout the realm, 
whales and sturgeons obtained in the sea or anywhere within the realm, except in specified locations authorized by the king. This regulation is still in effect today and applies to dolphins and porpoises as well as whales and sturgeons when they are caught within three miles of the English and Welsh coastlines. Number 13, Queen's Prank on Unaware American Tourists. In a past appearance on Sky News, former security guard Richard Griffin, also known as Dick, described what happened. She met some American tourists while wandering on a recent low-key vacation on the grounds of Balmoral Castle in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. She was dressed casually in tweeds and a headscarf at the time, so the two didn't recognize her and thought she was another visitor. When the tourists asked if she lived nearby, she said that she had a house close by. When asked if she'd ever met the Queen, she replied, I haven't, but Dick here meets her regularly, while pointing at her security officer. Number 14, the Queen was a proficient French speaker. According to Express, the Queen's tutor and governess, Marion Crawford, taught her French when she was a little child. The Queen always spoke French when she was in France. Number 15, both constitutional law and history were studied by the Queen. After her father was crowned king in 1936, Princess Elizabeth started learning about constitutional law and history. While receiving her education at home, Her Majesty also took French, German, and piano lessons. Number 16, over the course of her 70-year reign, the Queen owned more than 30 corgis, but she stopped breeding them years ago so they wouldn't outlast her. Susan, a Pembroke Welsh corgi that the Queen got as a present for her 18th birthday in 1944, was the first in a long series of royal corgis that have been the Queen's companions for seven decades. Even after Princess Elizabeth wed Prince Philip a few years later, Susan interrupted her honeymoon, and she was still by her side when she was proclaimed queen after his father's death on February 6, 1952 at the age of 25. After Susan passed away in 1959, the queen reportedly stated, I had always dreaded losing her, yet I am ever so happy that her suffering was so mercifully short. Number 17, the death of Queen Elizabeth II has been anticipated by the British monarchy. Since the 1960s, a 10-day routine known as Operation London Bridge has been in place, and it is minutely thought out as to how to manage the Queen's death, including the official announcement and burial arrangements. Number 18, Elizabeth II had a personal ATM. The royal family is permitted to use a private ATM placed in the basement of Buckingham Palace, despite the fact that the Queen very rarely, if ever, spent cash. One of the most prestigious banks in Britain, Couts, is the owner of the ATM. Number 19, Queen Elizabeth II collected a sizable collection of handbags. The Queen had a large designer wardrobe of dresses and accompanying accessories because she had to dress formally and attend various public engagements. Her Majesty preferred the high-end London designer lawner for her handbags, and according to the CEO of the company, she owned 200 of them. Those are some facts of Queen Elizabeth II. Which fact surprised you the most? Please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you on the next video and have a good day.